should think about this. I'll take it. Those shoes rock. Can I try them on? Go ahead. Anyway, I'm thinking I'm gonna dump them. I thought you already did. No, for real this time. That's a great jacket. Thanks. Well, that's too bad. Do you have these in seven? It's good and empowering. Well, good then. No, that's the last pair. I'm asking Joseph to marry me. Really? I thought you broke up. Now we worked it out. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Great. Cool. Congratulations. That's Woo! our party. The thing is, is I'm ready to break up with him, but it's just a matter of finding the right time. Josette, if you really want to do it, the time is now. No way. There's too much going on right now. His mom's surprise party is next week, so if I did it too close to that, it would be rude. And since he just started his new job... I think it's really weird that you're avoiding it because you're too busy. You either do it or you don't. Just make a commitment. That is so weird. That's exactly what I'm always telling him. See? So you're just as bad as him. You belong together. Wow, that's what I used to think, but now it is so obviously not true. I would be sad if I weren't so completely positive I was doing the right thing. Do you like this color? It's a little dark. So why don't you just do it when he gets home? No, we're going to Nancy and Rogers for dinner. I don't want them to hate me. Avoidance. No way, I just want to be humane. It's going to be rough for him. What a humanitarian. Ava, I need your support right now. I'm vulnerable. You got it. I'm just being the devil's advocate. But Jason's always doing that. It drives me fucking crazy. Hey, Ava. Hey, babe. What's going on? Nothing. time with Josette, hmm? Because I like Ava. Josette comes as a part of the package, sort of like a side effect. <laughs> Which one's decaf? Here we go, this one. Anyway, she's that type who just loves Leonard Cohen. I like Leonard Cohen. You know what I mean. No, I don't. What's wrong with Leonard Cohen? You know, those pretentious, Frenchy, sensitive types who think they're so much deeper than everyone else. So is that what you think of me? Oh, come on. Let's play Pictionary. So you think I'm pretentious? Oh, please, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about Donna. That's such a cop-out. I know what you're trying to say. Oh, So what? are you. You are being too sensitive. What do you mean? I hate it when you say that. I rest my case. Oh, talk about pretentious. Oh, I, I, I think I left the oven on. Roger? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. You have got to get them out of here. What do you mean? How am I supposed Just to... Just do it. Come on. You like nothing better than making a pronouncement from the ivory tower. That is a pronouncement. You're so judgmental. He said judgmentally. Oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, that was mature. Oh, I am so tired. It's way past my bedtime. Oh, do you have to get up early tomorrow? Yeah, I, at 6.30, 5.30 oh. a.m. Really? Mm -hmm. Baby, Baby, we, we better, better go. go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks so much, you guys. The dinner was amazing. Yeah, thanks. You know, we ought to have you guys over sometime. You know what, we should set a date now because otherwise we'll never get around to it. You know how it is. Oh, well. 
Oh, we're swamped right now. We couldn't even think about it for mm. at least a few weeks. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Well, come on, honey. We don't want to be rude over stare welcome. No, I don't want you guys to think that we're kicking you out. No, 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 no. It's okay. You better get going. Okay, I'll get your coats. Don't you think it's weird that they're fighting like that all the time in front of the whole world? Well, that's how they've always been. Oblivious? No, it's just their, you know, their energy. I, it's really annoying. I get tired of it. I am tired of it. Well, things should be changed soon. Oh, I know. What do you mean? What do you know? Nothing. She talks quite a bit, you know. I hang out with her a lot. What's she talking about? Stuff. Most of it incompetent stuff. Oh, I didn't think you two were such good friends. Why not? Well, I had a pretty good talk with Jason when we played basketball. But it's also stuff I can't tell you because it's private. Okay. Okay, but you, you can't tell anyone. You promise? What? You gotta promise not to tell. Okay, okay. okay. What? Jason has been walking around with a big old diamond ring for about a week. You mean like an engagement ring? Exactly. Oh my god. Don't you dare tell anyone. You should have seen them last night. I woke up with such a headache, and it wasn't a hangover. I mean, doesn't Jason know she's going to break up with No him? way. Only me and Ava. And Jill and Donna. And Marsha, the girl that works with her. <laughs> and me. And her therapist. Of course. And you really don't think he knows? Not a clue. She's all, I'm going to be a surprise. But the joke's on her because he is getting ready to pop the question. No way. So you're going to tell her? Absolutely not. I think you should. I think it's none of my business. Besides, I say let them get married. It'll make the streets a little safer. I think you should warn her. No. Or him. No, thank you. They deserve each other. And don't you dare mention any of this to anyone or you're fired. Now go caramelize some onions. She's always talking about breaking up with him. Yeah, well, there's a new wrinkle. He's gonna propose to her. Really? Uh-huh. She's such a bitch. You know, someone should warn him. What time's the last pickup? Wow. Don't you think he already knows? No. Can I ask you a question? And you have to promise you won't tell anyone. When someone says something to me in confidence, I respect that. Can't tell anyone. Hey, I wouldn't tell anyone. That'd be like betrayal. Exactly. And if either of them ever found out I said anything to you, I would be so busted. What about? I won't tell anyone. She wants to break up with him. Oh, really? Huh. But you're not supposed to tell anyone. We don't have to worry about Roger. Hmm. I've been carrying this thing around with me everywhere. I want it to be a total surprise. <laughs> she will be so pissed. Uh, are you sure you want to get married? After the other night, I wasn't so sure. Ah, uh, no, nah, she's just a little hypoglycemic is all. Oh. Uh, yeah. And you're sure she'll say yes? You bet. I mean, look, I work hard, Josette works hard. After all we've been through, I, you know, I just want us both to be happy. Well, you deserve it. Oh, thanks. It means a lot to me. It looks great. Yeah. I gotta keep one step ahead of Tarnish, my friend. Yeah. So what are you waiting for? Well... I got the motive. I'm just lying and waiting for the opportunity. You know what, Wanda? I had a really bad dream about you last night, and it's still freaking me out. I can't talk to you right now. Maybe tomorrow, okay? Yeah, thanks. Bye. What is up, Wanda? <sighs> Nothing. I just can't deal with her right now. All she does is talk about herself. She has no clue that I am in the midst of a major crisis. Mm, well, that's Wanda. So what are you going to do? I think that it's only fair to Jason that you make a decision either way and soon. That's right. Let's worry about Jason. Why should we worry about Josette? Okay. We wouldn't want to break with tradition. Okay. So what are you going to do? I don't know. It all comes down to one core question, am I happy? And the answer is, I don't know. You know, my therapist told me once that she thought I spent so much time trying to make sure everybody else is happy so that I don't have to confront my own happiness issues. My therapist told me the same thing. Oops, I think you told me that. So you know what I'm talking about. I think that you need to answer your core question right now. 
Yeah. Are you happy or not? God, I don't know. My first instinct is no. I'll never be happy. I'm probably too smart to really be happy. Well, what about on a more mundane level? How's your day today? Well, I function, obviously. The store is doing great, which is fulfilling, though it doesn't define me. Of course not. But we are talking about Jason and you right now. Is that aspect fulfilling? So complicated. I mean, on one hand, he can be so appreciative of me, and on the other, he can be so unresponsive. Yes or no? No. Don't you want to be fulfilled in your relationship? Well, yeah. Don't you want to be happy, both existentially and day to day? Yes. Of course you do. You deserve it. You bet I do. Right on. So when's the big day? Yes, tonight's the night. I can't hold back any longer. I am so nervous, but I'm ready. Oh, here comes Jason. What time's our spin class tomorrow? OK, see you then. Thanks. Later. I need to be alone. Jason, we really need to have a conversation. You're right. I've been thinking the same thing. Oh, really? Yeah, I've uh, been sort of assessing where we're going, us-wise. Oh, great. It's probably one of the hardest things I'll ever have to do. <clears throat> Damn, I don't believe this. Oh. I'm sorry. Look, I'm just going to be blunt. No, let me say something first. No way, Josette. I refuse. That's not I... fair. Don't be so controlling. Controlling? Look in the mirror, baby. But I've been thinking, too. Calm down. You'll get your turn. Don't tell me to calm down. Well, do it, and I won't. Let me finish. Let me finish. I listen to you. What are you talking about? I... You know, that's so typical. I feel like you don't even know me. It's like you have no idea. No, shut what... up for a second. Can you marry me? Oh, my God. It's beautiful. Well? Of course I'll marry you. Oh. I love you, baby. I love you.